unknown And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome back to The Road to Redemption. At the end of the last episode, in came Baffer Timby Gomes, the Newcastle United bound striker. He replaced Alexander Lacazette and of course so far through the series, Lacazette has been carrying this team on his shoulders alone. So hopefully Gomes can come in and score quite a few goals. Now this squad isn't too bad. I mean he's got Nani, Van Persie, Hatton Ben Arf. He's got a few Brazilians on the left, a few Frenchmen on the right hand side. But very early on, 13 minutes in the game, it's Val Buena picking up on his chest. He finds Baffer Timby Gomes and Gomes is off the mark already nice little finish past the goalkeeper 13 minutes into the game before he has a corner roughly on the stroke of half time it comes out Ramon smashes it into the top corner great little strike from his centre back I think that was his centre back anyways or maybe even the left back but we go on Baftim Gomes winning a free kick 29 yards out it's going to be Johan Kabai stepping up I don't think I've scored a free kick in this series so far so Johan Kabai he's going to bend it and try and get it in that top corner he's got a guy on the line and it's a guy on the post that actually ends up obstructing the goalkeeper and allowing Johan Kabai's free kick just to nip in at that near post lovely free kick from War Kabai and we advance on in the game then lovely link up between all my three attackers ended up going to Jimmy Brion and Jimmy Brion smashes it in at that far post right in the top corner there is no goalkeeper saving that before Baffer Timby Gomes passes one he passes two and he just smashes it in at that near post what a strike and what a goal that is from the big man great footwork from someone that's so tall and it was quite a powerful finish and that is how it finished Gomes snapping two on his debut my opponent actually got a red card but that was for two yellows and it probably wasn't deserved but it allowed me just to carry on in the game so we can upgrade to our first rare player it will be Sylvan Marvo making way for Frank Ribery now Ribery on this game I've never tried he's got great pace he's got great shooting he's got great passing dribbling he just looks the all-round player but for his price I would never pay it he costs far too much for me and you can get many players that are just as good as him in that position but because he's French he has to be in this team because he's one of the best French players on the game now my next opponent he's got a 4-3-1-2 formation and he's got Lucas Podolski at CM now I've seen Podolski at CM in a number of teams because I don't know why <laughs> he's a great finisher on this game and it just bemuses me why he's not up top and very early on he shows how good he is in front of goal with a nice little strike in the top corner he might be in CM because he's that good from range I just don't know and what is that touch from Ali Sissoko allowing Remy to just to basically tap in to an empty net because the keeper was never going to save that before Remy has the ball turns it to Rooney Rooney finesses it into the net 3-0 down, 32 minutes into the game, there is no coming back from this, but I do manage to nab a goal when Gomis works the ball very well and strikes it in that near post OP with a powerful strike, 35 minutes into the game, before I have a corner on the stroke at half time, it is the big man Mangala getting on the score sheet with a powerful header, second half comes around and he scores that to make it 4-2, 86 minutes into the game, there is just no coming back from that blow, so we lose the game, it's 4-2 defeat, it was very well earned from my opponent, opponent he played amazingly well before we come up against a Liga do Brazil squad and it's just not a Liga do Brazil squad I don't know why he's named it that he's got De Rossi in there he's got Aguero in camera and trapped up front really don't understand that whatsoever early on it is Valbuena making it 1-0 just brilliant finish, great play from my squad and it's a lovely little finesse past the on Russian goalkeeper before this is fantastic again by the way, Kabai reversing it into Valbuena underneath the goalkeeper and that was well worked, I should have shown the whole kind of gameplay but this video would have just been far too long, a lovely little finish under the goalkeeper at the end and that is how it finished, it finished 2-0, great win against a kind of hybrid squad, you had players in there that just don't belong to the Liga do Brazil but anyways it's going to be going that goal out. I know it might be a surprise to you but I think that is the position I need to strengthen and in comes this man it is Karim Benzema everyone knows him on the game this price at the start of the game was actually out of this world but now it's come down a lot more teams have him and he is what the fuck just what is this team 51 chemistry 
all those players at 51 chemistry. His manager is out of formation. It's just bizarre. And I do take advantage very early on. Look at this from Benzema. Wow, well, that is just fantastic. And a lot of my opponent's players didn't even have full fitness. I just, I was bemused at what this guy was playing at. Very early on, I took advantage. Then Benzema come forward again, puts it in the bottom corner. It's 2 0. And what a start to his first game at the club. It was a great roulette with an equally good. Finish, taking it past the only centre back there. This guy was just a joke, by the way. He was just terrible. You see, in his team, he was just. It was just awful to play against because it was too easy. I don't know if that really makes sense, but just look at this. He wipes out a guy that isn't even on the ball and gives me a penalty. You see it in the replay. It was Raphael who went through him. Raphael, of course, playing at centre-back, as you do, because he isn't even that pacey. He's not strong. Why would you put him centre-back? And that was pretty hilarious. So <laughs> my guy just flew there. But anyways, I win a penalty. It's going to be Gibral. He says, stepping up to take the penalty. Nice little stutter pen into the left-hand corner of the net. So we are 3-0 up, 18 minutes in the game and it just gets worse for my opponent I get the ball with Karen Benzema good trickery and he puts it in the bottom corner hat-trick on his debut for the big Karim Benzema but then he comes forward again it's Jimmy Brion into Benzema and what a finish that is he nabs four on his debut 27 minutes in the game and he didn't even think about that one he just turned and hit it before my opponent boots it up the field and backs out and that is an easy 5-0 win 30 minutes in the game that was just a complete destruction but in all honesty what does he expect going into a game with such a bad team and such such bad chemistry but anyways that is done and out comes Jimmy Briand he's been fantastic but in comes Hatem Ben Arfa who will add much needed flair to the squad and that will be it guys I hope you enjoyed this episode like if you did sub if you already haven't subscribed and I will catch you all later